first, I got to give thanks to the Lord Almighty. And uh, it's just it just comes with the hard work I put in over the summer. You know, no cockiness, just confidence. You know, I know the work I put in. I believe nobody outworked me this summer. And, uh, you know, um, I'm very proud of myself, you know what I'm saying? But there's still, there, there's still some more to go. I'm not satisfied, you know. Uh, I'm not satisfied until I overachieve my goal and, you know, just went out and uh, I'm very pleased, you know what I'm saying? I can ask, as far as that summer, what were some of those things you did? Like, was it just building weight? Was it how changing how you eat? What were some of those things? Changing how I eat, training two, two to three times a day, spin class, yoga class, on the beach, uh, you know, waking up at 9 a.m. every morning, Monday through Friday, throwing up every Monday. I threw up every Monday over the summer because my, like, because you know, just taking those two days off and then just my trainer back home really pushed my body. How has this team been able to bounce back after some disappointments? This team's been so resilient all year long. Oh, uh, you know, we got to finish out, you know. Uh, we don't hold our head down, you know. We know we know what kind of team we're capable of being, you know, so we just got to finish out. I'm sure you've already answered it, but that final drive, getting that fourth down stop, what, what was the emotion like about that? Getting the stop, yeah. uh, it, it, it was very pleasure. Um, I was so happy. I was ready to, to get off the field. You know, uh, I was exhausted, and uh, you know, uh, I freaking hugged those DBs so tight because you know they did their job and they held in there. Was there a jolt of energy after that that Rudolph touchdown? Heck yeah. You know, uh, that was that was that was amazing, man. That's a great throw. You know what I'm saying? You know, put it on the money. You know. Last quarterback I seen do something like that was Jameis Winston. So the, the last sack you've had and the last two incompletions they had, you know, of course, things you guys are saying on the sidelines to just stay encouraged, pull out the win. Just keep chopping. You know, we got to say keep chopping. Where did that come from? Um, we have a motivation, motivational speaker, Dr. Elko, and he started that saying, you know, when things going wrong, you know. You gotta hit, keep chopping when the adversity is coming. Keep chopping, because eventually, you know, if you chopping a piece of tree, uh, you chopping chopping down the tree. Eventually, if you keep chopping, it's gonna fall.